Welcome to labmins.com. In this video, we will be installing Cisco Virtual Network Management Center, or VNMC, from a .ova file. We will then register the VSM to the VNMC and then register the VNMC to the vCenter. In preparation for our future lab videos on VSG and ASA1000V, we will create a simple virtual data center hierarchy with tenant1, DC1, and app1. If you're wondering how we have gotten to this point with the Nexus 1000V, I encourage you to watch our videos RS0020 and 21, Nexus 1000V Layer 3 VSM VEM installation, before proceeding with this lab. Our lab setup here is fairly simple. We're going to be installing VNMC version 2, and we're going to give it an IP of 172.16.32.32, and that same VLAN we have a vCenter at dot five. The management zero interface IPs for our Nexus 1000V is 172.16.112.16. Here's some prerequisites before we can start in the lab. Let's make sure at this point you have your ESXi host added to the vCenter. You have a Nexus 1000V install. You have the VNMC software package downloaded from cisco.com and you know exactly what name, IP, VLAN, or password you would like to use on your VNMC. Okay, so let's start our configuration. We're going to deploy the VNMC from an OVA file. That you have downloaded from a Cisco website. So here on our vCenter interface, we go to deploy OVF template, and then you click browse, and then you point to the OVA file of your VNMC right here, version 203f.ova. Click open. Now click next. Make sure you understand the resource requirement of the VM. So you can see right here, if thin provision, it would it would use 2.4 gig as opposed to 20 gig when you do thick provision. Okay, so click accept, then next. Here we'll give it a name, we'll call it lm-vnmc. Click next, and here we have two options. One is install, the other one is restore. So since we're installing, we'll choose installer. We'll click on the host. So this is the host that we'll be installing the VNMC on, 32.4, which is our first ESXi one. And you choose your data store. We're gonna install it on iSCSI storage. Since we saw earlier that it, it used much more disk space with uh, thick provision, we're gonna use thin for just for our lab purpose, but you definitely wanna use thick in your production here. As far as the VLAN, we say we want to put it on VLAN 32 that we have created already on the Nexus 1000V, right here, VM VLAN 32. Next, here's where we have to provide all the parameters for the VNMC, starting off with the IP address. So it's going to be 172.16.32.32. Net mass is already slash 24. Gateway is 16.32.1. Host name, we'll keep it consistent with the VM name. So as lm-vnmc. Domain name for us is labminutes.com. DNS, we have a DNS on 172.16.32.40. This is the admin password for the to lock into the VNMC. Okay, so we'll give it a password. And here's the secret, it's just the share secret that the device will need when it tries to register to the VNMC. So, so make sure you take a note of this. We're gonna use a Cisco or complex Cisco one, two, three. Okay, and for the last section, for the resources, we're not doing the restore, we can just leave that at default. So we'll click next, make sure you review the parameters and make sure that it looks correct. And we can click finished and we want it to power on after the deployment. Okay, so here the installation would take a few minutes. So I wanna pause the video and I'll fast forward later and I'll come back when it's done. So the VNMC installation has been completed. Now let's go ahead and lock into the GUI. Let's bring up the web browser. And I've already created a bookmark for that. So IP is 32.32. Then we're gonna accept the certificate. Okay, then we're gonna use the username admin and then the password that you specify during the setup process. Okay, now that we locked into the GUI, the next thing we're gonna do is to register the VNMC to the vCenter. So this is very similar to when you try in to install the Nexus 1000V, you had to register VSM to the vCenter. So what we have to do is download the .xml file and then first register that to the as a plugin to the vCenter. So the, where you locate that is administration, VM managers. And right here, there's a link to export vCenter extension. 
So click on that and then we're just going to save that on the desktop. So download completed. Then we're going to jump to the vCenter, plug in, manage plug in. You can see right here, this is the .xml file for the Nexus 1000 VVSM. And we right click and do new plug in. And we're going to browse to that file that we just downloaded. And then we click register plug in. And we're just going to ignore the certificate. And here it says successfully registered. And this is just to let the vCenter know uh, who is supposed to talk to, uh, who is supposed to allow to talk to. As, as far as uh, an extra security. So no, not just anyone can register to vCenter. And now that we have added as a plugin, we click on the tab VM Manager, and then we can add the VM Manager. For the name, we'll call it LM vCenter 5. And the IP address of the vCenter is 172.16.32.5. Leave the port number at default. And you can see right here, almost immediately, this operational state has become up. And you can even see the VMware vCenter version as well. Admin state is also up. So we are now successfully register a VNMC to the vCenter. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to register the VSM to the VNMC. And the way to do this, you have to get onto the VSM, the Nexus 1000 vCLI, which we have uh, open already. So the way this is going to work is you need to install the policy agent on the VSM, and then the VSM will use the policy agent to communicate with the VNMC. So first, if you do dir, and by default, there should be a file called VNMC dash VSMPA, and depending on the version of VSM you're running, which is basically the policy agent image. And to configure the policy agent, you go under VNM, policy agent, and then you have to specify the IPs of the VNMC. So registration IP, and the IP is 162.16.32.32. And here we have an option of share secret, and this is the share secret that we provided during the VNMC installation. And if you remember, I'd say it was a complex Cisco. So right here, make sure there's no typo. And the last thing you need to specify is the image. It's policy agent image. Let me scroll up a little bit. I'm just going to copy and paste that and then enter. And then just to verify that the policy agent has been successfully installed. You exit that. Show VNMPA status. You can see right here it says policy agent status is installed successfully with the version. Now if you go to the VNMC and under administration service registry and under client you will see right here now the VNMC has a knowledge of a VSM with the management IP 112.16. Operation state is registered as well as the version. Okay, same thing if you go under the resource management and then resources. Okay, and then right down below here with the virtual supervisor module, you can see it shows up as an entry here as well. Okay, fetch a row primary, reachable is yes. So everything looks good. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do in this video is to create a simple organization hierarchy that we're going to use for our future videos. So to do that, you go to tenant management. And here, right here by default, you can see all, all we have is root. So the first thing you from top down, first thing you need to create is tenant. And so we're going to use it, I'll call it tenant one. Okay, and you can expand that and you can just keep going and work your way down the hierarchy. Next is virtual data center. You want to call it VC1 and OK. And next is the application. And you want to call app1. Click OK. And you can see if you even want to go another layer deep, you can create the tier. But for us, we're just going to stop at the application level. Last thing that I want to show you is, is if we go back to the, now that we have the VMC registered to the vCenter, if we go to the resources, and right here on the top section of the virtual machine, 
you can see that the VNMC actually has a full view of the VMs that's currently running on the vCenter. Okay, so it's aware of all the names and VMware attributes as well. So we have successfully installed VNMC and have built connections between VNMC to VSM and vCenter. Now that we have the VNMC up and running, we can continue our installation with VSG and ASA1000V. So that's pretty much wraps up our video on Virtual Network Management Center or VNMC installation. You can sign up on our website to receive updates on our latest lab videos and get access to additional lab contents. Thank you for watching labmiss.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.